few things whenever I go to a client shoot. Like, honestly, you could say that's because I don't have any money and so I don't have much gear, but nevertheless. <sighs> Does that trigger anyone? Good afternoon. Um, my name is William Seth Johnson and I'm going to be doing. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, what's up, everybody? <sighs> I'm going to be doing like a small gear review. <laughs> As a filmmaker, um, there is a lot of gear to choose from, especially like if you're starting out, you don't really know what you're going to buy yet. And if you're working on a limited budget, there are a few things that I believe are absolutely essential if you want to start filmmaking and if you want to start getting jobs. Um, right now I'm filming on the Nikon Z6, which a lot of people would turn their nose up to it and they'd say, what, a Nikon, really? That's what you're gonna do? Well, it's dope. It's a full frame mirrorless camera that shoots 4K at 30 FPS. It shoots 10-bit 4K, which is awesome, and it shoots HD full 1080p at 120 FPS. That's just awesomeness, man. That's just like, that's like what you want in a camera. So far, I've been really happy with it. Um, we're gonna go through the things that I, I use whenever I shoot interviews. Um, we're gonna go through like just a few things that I like to have, me personally, and it's what I put in my camera bag. So, welcome, and uh, grab yourself a cup of coffee because I'm absolutely addicted and I can't stop drinking it. There are a few essential things, a few essential items that I bring every single time whenever I go to a client shoot. So, honestly, the first one is my bag. It's by a brand called Go Groove. It was given to me by my girlfriend, and it's awesome. It's awesome, it carries everything. Second thing, I bring my laptop, which is, uh, it's an Asus RLG Strix. I don't, I'm not gonna get into like why it's awesome, but it's a, it's a good laptop. Um, the second thing, third thing I guess, is this thing, the WD Black portable hard drive. Hard as a rock. It's basically armor plated. It's got four terabytes of storage. It's freaking dope. So it's a little pricey. I think it's like 150 bucks. I, I, I could like, I'm not exactly sure. Seth, editor Seth, please um, put the actual price down below, but it's pretty dope. I use it a lot. I use it for everything. It like basically is safe my bacon like a lot of times. I bring only two lenses. I bring a 50 millimeter 1.8 and I bring a 24 to 70 f4. I, I, I really I think that you should only bring at least, you should only bring two lenses whenever you go to a shoot unless you know you're gonna need four or five but in reality you really won't use them you should invest in glass that's something that I'm trying to do right now but as far as what you bring to a video shoot I really think two lenses is where it's at I bring two different forms of mics I bring a lav mic which is what I'm using right now which is the Rode Bluetooth lav mic. I'm not exactly sure the, the name, but it's pretty dope because it doesn't have any it doesn't have any wires. So you, you just like you take this, you hook it on somebody, and you can just follow them around. They can do whatever they want. They're not hooked up to wires. You don't have to tape anything. It's it's awesome and it has very good sound. What's the this because it clips. I carry a very small shotgun mic. This is the the cheapo Rode Video Micro that everybody talks about online. You could watch a million videos on this thing and everybody has something good to say about it because it's so dang good. It's small, it's portable, it has really good sound. I'll, I'll show you the difference here right now between this and this. Uh, this is with the Micro. It still sounds really good, I think. Especially like if you do some audio tweaking, like in post. This is more action. This is more interview. Both work, so. And they're both fairly small, so I'll uh, I'll say that they're pretty good buys. <laughs> Another thing I bring to a shoot is I bring the Skull Candy uh, AirPod ripoffs, essentially. They are like 70 bucks or something like that 
but I love, uh, it's just so nice. They never run out of battery, ever. And they fit in your ear almost perfectly. So, I don't know, I've been very happy with them. I mean, who knows, I'm, uh, I like Apple, so I might give me some AirPods, but for right now, these things work awesome. And I like having some form of music or some form of, um, like some form of Bluetooth earbuds, just in case I need to like hook it up to my laptop real quick and be able to look at footage. It's really helpful. So that's something that I use. It go, it kind of goes without saying, but if if your if your camera runs out of battery, then you're pretty much screwed. I have like I have like four. I have like a ton of these batteries, and I have at least two chargers with me at all times. Typically, I'll like plug two of my batteries into a wall socket while I'm shooting so I know at least like even if I hadn't charged anything before I know at least I have power so you can just quickly throw them in I know that Nikon just released a battery grip and my buddy Levi actually just bought it and it literally looks like a Nikon version of the 1DX Mark II which is kinda sick but I don't have that so until I get that it's a lot of these extra batteries that I end up bringing Last but not least, typically I bring a cup of coffee. Like, I don't know if it's just me, but I bring some form of caffeine with me whenever I go to a video shoot, whether it's a Red Bull, whether it's a cup of coffee. Like, I always have some kind of, of caffeine, typically. And I think it's just, it's like, it's something to do. I don't have, oh, I might have ADD, but I have a hard time focusing on one thing at a time. So what I like to do is have things that like occupy my mind and my hands while I'm doing my job. So I like to have gum or Red Bull or something just to like have myself doing things while I'm like sitting there looking at the monitor. Catch me next week. We're going to be doing a tutorial on Premiere Pro on how to get started on how to start your project. So leave a like if you're excited for that. Okay. Bye.